hi hello welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to get a virtual dollar card that you can use on any website or application in nigeria we know that recently the central bank of nigeria has of course they have limited we using our 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 bank cards to work on international website most banks are not working right now and the ones that are working are limited to 20 dollars all right so we have other um solutions from nigeria such as fluta by butter wave but this solution stopped working and other platforms that provide virtual cards to nigeria stop working very well some will not work on some website some will work on other website some are not functioning properly all right that's why i'm creating this video all right to show you the best place to get a virtual card that you can use to make payment on any website and it works on all my all website and application it can work to, uh, on Play Store and all those other places, all right? Because there are a lot of reasons why you want to use a virtual dollar card. It can be to pay for your web hosting, to buy a product or service such as pay for software, or to buy any ebook from Amazon, or to buy whatever you want to buy online. The reasons why you want to use a virtual card is personal to you, and of course, you have every right to use it. So, you need a solution that works. This video is going to help you too, all right? So, in the description of this video, I'm going to leave the link to this website because you are going to watch me. I'm going to guide you step by step on what to do and how to get the best fit to get your virtual dollar card because so many providers are so expensive out there, they cut off your neck, they are very expensive. So, you are going to i'm going to carry you through step by step or now you can get a virtual card okay and also at the end of in also in the description okay i'm going to leave my whatsapp contact if you need my help you can click on the um the you can click to chat me up on whatsapp then i'll be there to guide you to and help you to whatsoever help that you might need all right just first of all watch me to this video as i'm going to guide do too all right so the first thing you want to do is as um, i'm going to leave the link for you as i said in, in the description of this video where you can sign up for this account now there's one thing you need to first of all know, okay when you come here when you are logged in you click on the menu and then you have to go over to marketplace and click on virtual cards okay because actually the first thing that you are supposed to do is that when you create your account you are supposed to click on add funds all right so now let me show you how, it, how you are going to add funds to in order to create a virtual card first of all you, you click on add fund all right so now please kindly watch this video very well so you do, you do not do something that is wrong okay now when you want to add fund to your to your um this account you want to make sure that um you click that you want to pay through Nera. okay that is why you are going to put Nera. okay currency over here okay you are going to select Nera okay now payment method there are different payment method over here because you want to pay to your card or bank deposit okay that is what you want to use to choose you want to say i, I want to pay to my bank or, or bank deposit so you can click here as you can see there are different as you can see they are showing various methods whereby you can uh pay to so you are going to click because now when you click on um as you can see as i click n i engineer it has brought me some people that um, I can choose to add fund from. You can see that this person is um, saying to that, but it's one dollar to five hundred dollar. Then you can pay to your card, see your virtual card, to your flutter So you can get your two flutter So that means that you can pay online. Okay, this one says you can pay with um, your pay stack, and one says that you can pay through your bank transfer. So the first thing that you want to make sure that when you are doing these things, that you want to look at the rate they are charging you. Okay, you want to look at the rate that they are charging because many of them are trying to cut off your neck okay you want to look at the risk that they are um charging you that is the first thing that you want to check okay now and also don't forget that here you can select and scroll to to select the best payment method that it, that is available for for you as you can see there's a better so now as you can see right there that now nah, this one is saying that um you can fund um one dollar to five hundred dollar but now what, what you really need to know is that you need to look at the um the the uh the never the uh the minimum rate and the maximum rate and also you look at the amount that they want to uh charge you okay so for example now let's say that yeah um, you are clicking on on this one over here okay or let's say that you are clicking on this one over here. this one has eight percent um eight percent rate and Eight percent charge rate. Now let's say you click on this trader bot. Okay. Now this trader bot are going to charge you. They are going to actually give you dollar account. So because you are not paying for dollar, you cannot use this particular one right now. 
okay whenever i do another tutorial i'm going to check if you have to be checking here mostly to see somebody who is cheaper that can fund your account for you okay now look at this sam peter now he's saying that his um his weight is um um 70 percent when you click on add fund as you can see you see how much you want to fund your account with. let's say i want to fund my account with ten thousand now for example as you can see it's going to tell me that um i'm to pay seventeen thousand naira. so that means that if i fund this account with ten thousand naira, you are going to get seventeen thousand naira. so whenever you have found any provider that you always make sure that you always check the cheapest rate and also check the currency that you are actually paying to so these are the two things that you must check and also check the payment method because some can actually be asking you to actually use the dollar card which you don't have already okay so those are the first thing that you want to um check them when you click on add via auto gate pay okay and it's going to you know use your card to pay then you're going to have this fund in your account so when you have the fund in your account then you can now use it to uh, then buy the card so once your account is funded you want to go back to the menu all right you want to go back to the menu over here then you click over to marketplace then you're going to select virtual cards all right so by the time you select virtual card then you open it then it's going to open for you okay then yeah it is loading over here so as you can see here there's the um virtual card as you can see now there's one thing that you need to do okay when you are selecting who to buy your virtual card from you want to click on the uh you want to check the creation fee okay you need to check the creation fee and the currency type that you want this one is in euro all right but what you're looking for is usd okay you want to make sure that the creation fee is not too high okay and first of all you want to make sure it's in dollar okay now once you know you're checking in dollar you check the creation fee look at this one is charging one dollar this one is charging fifteen dollars this one is charging ten dollars okay so now what you want to do is that you want to click on the one that is charging the lowest you know the lowest um um you know creation fee and then make sure that the currency is um usd okay as you can see there so now for this example i'm gonna click on this that is charging one dollar then loading fee two percent plus one which is not much so you click on buy okay so now when you look at it it's asking you, you know you have already loaded money into your account so it's going to ask you how much do you want to how many dollar do you want in the card and always for your own safety always make sure that um you have at least let's say you want to buy something for 51 dollar 50 dollar make sure that you load your card 51 as in 51 dollar should be on that card okay for your own so that your card so that your transaction will not fail so now in this case i want to pay 50 dollar so it's a 50 dollar i want to add one dollar okay i see 51 dollar as you can see it's one dollar now this is because if you have actually um if you have if you have, if you have funds in your account it's going to try to see the dollar now it's telling you that um it's going to take total amount that you have to pay to get 51 dollar in your account is 21,000 as you can see 21,000 something so if you have um since you have known that um so the so the first thing you need to always first of all do is go to your virtual card and see the amount of money that they are going to charge you before you go and load your account so you go and load your account you make sure that whenever you want to add funds to your account you had around that range or slightly above it okay so now this one has said that um you need twenty five thousand. Let's say this one says that you need um twenty five thousand two hundred for example. Okay, so that means that when you go over to the ad fund, okay, when you go over to the marketplace once more, and when you go to the ad funds, okay, you are going to make sure that the rest that you are um uh, that is going to finally give you that you are going to have in your account is going to be around that money okay now let's say that we are using this guy because you are paying to pay, pay stack uh, because it's never never and you are paying to uh, pay stack and this one is flutable but it's usd so you're not doing anything with that so let's say yeah so yeah i'm going to select add fund with from this guy you remember that how much do you want one twenty one thousand so first of all just put in this case just put above as you can see it's telling you so let's say we have twenty five thousand 200 now it's telling you that to get 25,200 in your account you are going to have to pay this amount of money to him 
to this company so you can have 25,200 in your account so when you have done that and then you have that 25,200 in your account okay so when you come back to this place so you can see you already have that amount of money in your um wallet so that it can without it and then when you are done you fill all these details in this place your name your email your uh phone that you wanted to show on the email address and your bvn then your identification type so that they know that um you are a real person and then then your gender of course then you purchase this card okay so this card is going to be available to you, you can read the instructions over here this card is going to be available to you then when you get the card okay when you get the card then you can then use it for any purpose that you want to use it for in online payment okay so that is what you need to do and those are the two steps that you need to to do in order to get this virtual card remember the first thing is that you check your virtual card you go to the virtual card creation you put the amount that you want to um, get so it's going to tell you the amount of layer that you need to load into your account then you go into the ad fund then you choose the seller I make sure that you, have, you can pay to bank or pay stack or any payment good that is working in Nigeria. Then you put the amount of Naira that you need to have on the card. Then it's going to tell you the amount to pay. So once you pay this money and you have the amount in your in, 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 in your accounts, then you can then go ahead to create your virtual card. And then when you get the virtual card, then you can then use it on any website you want. Always make sure that before you buy the virtual card, you check it very well to make sure that is. Uh, um, you are selecting to make sure that you are selecting dollar okay not usd all right okay all right thank you for watching this video i'm going to leave the description to this website in the um uh, the link to this website in the description of this video and i'm also going to leave my contact number so you can contact me if you need any more help and also so you can contact me if you are looking for what to do online to make morning all right thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next video and sure to subscribe to this channel and also like this video and also comment have a nice day